Well, started cleaning the carburetor. So started on the left, had to drain the fuel out of the tank here. Um, discovered that the fuel peacock, uh, even when it's in the vacuum position, uh, continues to run fuel. So there's no off. I'll definitely have to replace the peacock on this to uh, get an off position. But I uh, got the left carburetor off over here and uh, taking it apart. Hey, we got the left carburetor tore down here. A uh, little bit of varnish on the inside, but not too bad. Not as bad as I thought it might be. There's more trash in it than anything. I got a, a uh, I want to say a lot, but I, I've already cleaned out the bowl a little bit. But there was a little bit of trash in the bowl. And, uh, you know, up here, whoop, there we go. A little bit of grunge and dirt on the inside of the carburetor that you wouldn't normally expect to be in there, but uh, otherwise not too bad. I'm a little concerned seeing the rubber components. I'm going to push on this O-ring and see if it's still gummy. Not sure. It did have a couple of shims in it. I uh, didn't look. I can't see the jet size numbers on there. Um, I had to get a magnifying glass to see if I can read those and see if the jets are standard or not, but right now just finishing tearing this apart so that I can get it in the ultrasonic cleaner here and get it cleaned up and put back on. Oh, sun's getting low, shining in the window here. We got parts in the cleaner and Benny helping me out. Got the first run of cleaning. I may clean these parts again. There's a lot of gunk on them. Uh, there's a lot of varnish on them not coming off. Um, run it again through the heat. Uh, these have had one session as well. Uh, this carburetor body is not been in yet. The other one is in there now. Um, got it all pulled apart. But it looks like we got a 122 main jet and a 40 idle jet in here. Is uh, what these jets are, if I can make out the little numbers on them. But we're going to get back together and see how it does. Well, finished cleaning them up. They uh, turned out, yeah, looked pretty decent. Everything inside cleaned up. For the most part, there's still a little bit of uh, staining. I don't know if you can see it in the light here. Inside that I couldn't get out. I put these through the uh, ultrasonic cleaner uh, three times, actually, the bodies, to get them as clean as possible. And uh, got a few fingerprints. The top pans polished up okay. I cleaned those up. There uh, was a lot of surface rust on one of them, but I uh, was able to polish most of that off. I don't think they look too bad. Real trick's going to see how they run, but before we can do that, i got to get the tank off and uh, get it cleaned out to get a new pet cock on it because the one on there is leaking, and uh, we'll see how it goes and get it running. <laughs> 